Hey everyone, did you know generative fill in collaboration with Photoshop? So, for example, if you want to edit a vertical version of your video, what I've done here is I've exported the, this video as a test MP4. And with Photoshop, you can actually open up an MP4 file and Photoshop has a video mode. And what you can do is you can use the crop tool to expand your frame so it can generate a new background above or below. To create that vertical space, so above I just hit generate without typing anything and we'll create more wall space. So then you have these new generated layers and you can extend those layers out to meet the duration of that video clip. And then you can resave that video and then bring it back in Premiere Pro and do some editing. So this is great if you work to be able to export it and use it on TikTok or Instagram. And you don't have to have such a zoomed in, cropped frame on your face, just showing this inside of the 9 by 16 vertical frame. Instead, you have more space to work with, so it doesn't feel so close up on the social media platform. I know that I would love to see the generative fill built in directly in Premiere Pro, so we don't have to go to Photoshop. But for now, I recommend just exporting that whole video clip without any of the text or the sound or anything just that raw clip as in 4 and then opening up in Photoshop and doing that generated fill to the new cropped area, there are a few more other updates that are a little bit more minor, but maybe you're interested in this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.